Hi, welcome to today. My name is Lynn Haroff and this is Relational Effectiveness. We are going to talk about all things um, that can help with our relationships to work better, whether it's a tool, a technique, an idea. Um, we have all different kinds of things to talk about here. So what we've been doing is talking about the DISC, which is a personality profile, four different quadrants and kind of and looking at the strengths and weaknesses of each, how each uh, interact with each other, uh, the different communication styles and how stress affects each one. And so we're going to wrap that up today with um, looking at creative cooperation in stressful situations. So we've got the the background information, um, where people might be coming from, what their thought patterns might be. And so today is the grand finale of cooperating together under stressful situation. So the idea is that there is, um, there's a better solution with more than with less um, brains attached and different looking at it from different perspectives. And so synergizing um, this process is where two or more work together to create a better solution than they could create just on their own. And that is so much what this is, is talking about. This is so much my desire for the world in general, that we work together for greater solutions. And um, so in a stressful situation, you know, we talked in the last few on how each might um, handle stress differently. Um, we're, we, I think in part need to listen to each person's point of view, to their perspective, and then get their ideas for the problem and how to solve it. it in a way, it's really respecting and appreciating our differences, our uniqueness, and um, what we can bring to the table in, in that. So what we've looked at in the last 30 some odd sessions is the DISC in a lot of ways. Um, so if you look back at the playlist, you can find different topics that might be of interest to you that, that if you want to look more into them. So I don't want to be remiss. I want to share some other ideas on how to handle stress. Um, and according to, these are 10 tips from the Center of Man for Management and Organizational Effectiveness. So CMOE. And the source here you can see listed is, um, on a blog that talked about 10 ways to improve problem solving skills. So let's go into this a little further. It looks like dance your heart out. Um, by the way, I'd like you to pick at least one or two of these to do today, just for fun. So dance your heart out. Um, I, it doesn't have a time frame here, but I'm saying, you know, five, 10 minutes. That sounds like a, a possibility. And just a side note, if you'd like to have me as a speaker, I do end with a flash mob. If you would like to end with a flash mob, we can do that. <laughs> Teach us some dance steps and then we dance it out on the dance floor there. Um, this is, a, this has been a lot of fun. I did this with a group of um, tax accountants. <laughs> so I'm not sure I was everyone's, you know, everyone's a fan of me uh, by any means. Um, I got some interesting looks and for some of them, but for other ones, they were having a blast. In fact, for part of it and step into the beat was, uh, some were going pay your taxes, like in between the song da, 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 and then pay your taxes. So that sounds like a lot of fun. Check me out at lynnspeaks.com. Some other things that can help with problem solving are getting a good night's sleep. Um, how many, how people <laughs> sleep? That's such a funny topic. Uh, I don't know if funny is the right word, but um, it's a topic that people talk about. How'd you sleep last night? Um, I had a good night. I didn't have a good night. So there's actually something called sleep hygiene, um, ways to make your sleep more likely to be effective for you. And, you know, um, if you have ideas, you know, in the, in the, comments below. Um, I think, you know, share them with people. If they have ideas on how you've been helped with your sleep, that's an idea. Um, I think the next one has helped me with my sleep where keep an idea journal or keep a journal. Um, reading right before bed, that has helped. 
But as for getting back on topic for ways to improve problem solving, keeping an idea journal is helpful. I like keeping on my notes on my phone so I can look back at them. Consider the Cheerio effect. And that has to do with feeling like you're in a way you're moving in with a tribe, really. I mean, the Cheerios all clump together. And so um, working together, they, they all kind of clump together and, and it had something to do with the Cheerio effect that way. But working with others and that that you kind of aren't on this problem solving journey alone uh it's a psychological dis distance so getting away from a situation can breathe new life into that situation and they say that we're still working on things in our subconscious so if you're gardening or shooting some hoops there's things happening that are helping you to solve some of those problems so step away and see what can happen with your problem solving ability for a little bit and go back to it and maybe right there it'll be so it says to do logic puzzles or games anyone a fan out there of um, the different logic puzzles or games that are happening that can help you to problem solve more effectively list your game in below that would be fun um, work out to some tunes which i think is very similar to dance your heart out but it is different so pick your workout that you want to do and do it to some music and that can help your problem solving yoga i'm a, i'm a fan of biggest loser yoga i have the cd and i'll tell you what that has also helped my sleep so there's that it says use mind maps and visualize and then look at that the last one says play some soccer who knew who knew soccer could lead you to some problem solving but there it is Thank you, Center for Management and Organization Effectiveness. And thank you guys. And so get ready. Next, next video moves us on into some other aspects of tools that we can use to have our relationships be more effective. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you like and comment. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.